And you can't have a conversation about what this Ravens offense is doing without talking about the King. And over this five-game win streak that I just referenced, Derek has been nothing short of spectacular. 109 touches, 793 total yards, 413 yards after contact, 15 rushes of 10-plus yards, 20 missed tackles forced, and eight total touchdowns. He has been ads, advertised, and then some. And the crazy part about last night is that there were times, especially at the end of that first half, where he was just straight up uninvolved to the point where the ESPN booth, Joe and Troy, were questioning whether or not he was hurt. That's how sideline chilling he was at times last night. And yet, look at the numbers against Tampa. 182 total yards, 118 after contact, one touchdown, and that 81-yard burst up the left-hand side of the field, which he quote-tweeted the highlight of the NFL's team account post-game and had the nerve to say that he should have scored, shaking my head, slow as F, much love flock. Okay, keep in mind, this is a guy that according to Next Gen Stats, on that 81-yard burst, reached a top speed of 21.72 miles an hour. And that's the fifth fastest run by any ball carrier this season. Not on the weekend, right? Not over the last couple of weeks. This season. And he feel he felt like it should have been a house call. This guy is so prideful. I love every single thing about the fact that he just Snatches your soul. Is an absolute king-like figure after contact. Has great vision. Ridiculous explosiveness. And then hands the football right back to the official to go do it again and again and again. It's the closer that the Ravens had hoped for. And it's somebody who is on pace right now for historic numbers at the age of 30. An in-game tweet that I got a chuckle out of came from Jordan Schultz, NFL insider, who received a text from an NFL general manager whose team briefly considered signing Derrick Henry last offseason. And the text read, we probably should have taken a longer look at him. No shit. <laughs> this guy is an ascending player at 30, and with the amount of NFL miles that he has on his tires, he is defying NFL history. Kyle Barber has been tracking seasonal comparisons for Derek as he ages. And as he tweeted with a graph that goes alongside with his numbers. After rushing for 169 yards in week seven, Derrick Henry is on the highest rushing yards pace of his NFL career. He is 98 yards ahead of his 2,000 yard season in 2020. He's four yards ahead of his 2021 start. He's had 57 fewer carries than in 2021, 27 fewer carries than 2020. You want the specific numbers? Here they are from the 33rd team. Here is what he is currently on pace for after yet another mammoth night. It, it, again, in which he was conserved at times throughout the game. Over 2,100 rushing yards he's on pace for through seven weeks, which would be a career best. Six and a half yards per carry which would be a career best. 19 rushing touchdowns, which would be a career best. And over 1,000 yards after contact, which would be his fourth best. And as the 33rd team notes at the bottom here and is well documented, he turns 31 in the month of December. 
Enjoy it while it lasts, folks, because this is history in the making. And the Ravens potentially have an MVP and an Offensive Player of the Year on the exact same team. To the nightcap we go. I'm attacking the quarterback, Matagwikwe. Uh, uh, isn't really at the receiver position. They are they are threats. Obviously, when it's time for, for Lamar to throw, as good as he's gotten as far as his pocket presence and being able to, to deliver the ball, but that goddamn King Henry, man. Different. He's then, different then, man. Then, you know, like, you can't rush. Can T.J. Watt really rush up the field and no. lose the pain like he wants to? Or no. That, like, everything has to change when you play the Ravens. Yes. On, 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 on some of the things you like to do or some of the things that you're good at. So I'm, I'm, I, I have no idea how Mike Tomlin and that defense is going to be to be able to defend them when if you can't stop the run. Well, hell, Lamar now not only can he beat you with his legs, he beat you with his goddamn arm too. Yep, yep. So now it's, like, can... it's like it's pick your poison. How you it want? Is. You want it fast or you want it slow? Either way, he finna kill you. You want it fast or you want it slow? Pause. No, you guys are already thinking that out there, dirty minds. How about the combo right here? And that was courtesy of the nightcap, of course, with Ocho Cinco. And Shannon Sharp, late night, last night. But Gordon McGinnis also took a look at the duo together, pacing-wise. Derek, again, over 2,100 rushing yards he's on pace for. Lamar, meanwhile, over 4,300 passing yards, 1,100-plus rushing yards. 36 passing touchdowns, five picks, and five rushing touchdowns. And as Gordon writes, yeah, this is a video game offense through seven weeks, and it's got everybody on all levels talking, including Mike Greenberg of ESPN, who took a victory lap earlier this morning on Get Up. Sorry, I can't hear you guys. All that making fun of me you did when I said he's the MVP of the league. And, oh, no, everyone yelled at me. He's not even the MVP on his own team. Derek Henry is the difference. You watch that team with him. They are markedly different. Lamar is brilliant. He's been brilliant a long time. This team is markedly different because of that You remember? Hold on, hold on. You remember? So, so <laughs> Lamar's not the MVP of his team just because he's been good for a long time? No. Henry I want to focus on in the same way that Randy Moss was the difference when he came to New England. Tom Brady was already a great quarterback, yeah. but that elevated everything basically to the point of being unstoppable. Yes. And that's what this guy has done. If this guy is healthy, nobody beats the Ravens. Greeny and Rex Ryan been talking him up for what feels like weeks at this point. And, you know, he I took that opportunity for a Tuesday morning victory lap earlier today on ESPN. Marlon Humphrey went live last night. I don't believe Lamar made a cameo, obviously, at his request from several weeks ago after the Dallas win. We all remember that. But Derrick Henry made an appearance, and again, in king-like mode on Victory IG Live on the plane ride back. I got that. Just a guy, a ball player. A guy. Hello, everybody. Yeah, um, I'm sorry y'all got caught. I'm, I'm really mad about this shit. I gotta get back on the track and work on my speed. But um, we get another shot this Sunday. Hope you, hope you all had a great Monday night. Shout out to Marlon. Two picks. But well, we built by Bama. I mean, we built different. Flock Nation, I love y'all. Y'all keep holding it down. Dude's wearing a ski mask coming off of Tampa. I guess that's just a culture thing. Leaving Tampa Bay and you're wearing a ski mask. I just don't get it. But, hey, you heard it there. He's pissed that he got caught on that 81-yard run. That's all he's thinking about. Guy has a, an electrifying performance, downs yet another team for what feels like is just a weekly occurrence in crunch time, and all he can think about is getting caught, even though he went over 21 miles an hour, according to Next Gen Stats. So if that's not a great indication of the makeup of this team, offensively speaking, I, I don't know what is.